All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Mr. Gebke here. I just wanted to reach out to my kindergarten through second grade students right now. Uh, what I've got today is a little read-along. I know it's not PE, but uh, what I want you to do is listen to this story and then think about all the different ways that the main character, Pete the Cat, got some good exercise and participated in being active um, in the story, okay? Uh, this is one of my favorite a book from one of my favorites. It is Pete the Cat, Robo Pete. Uh, big fan of the Pete the Cat series, and um, let's let's get going. All right, so get started here. We see on the first page, Pete the Cat's got a, a baseball and a glove, as well as a bat. So let's see what uh, Pete's got shaking today. What a great sunny morning! Pete can't wait to play baseball with his friends. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Larry. I can't, says Larry. I'm going to the library. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Callie. I was about to go for a bike ride, says Callie. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks John. I can't right now, says John. I have to paint the fence. Pete wishes his friends would do what he wants to do. It's no fun playing catch all by himself. If I only knew another me, Pete thinks. And like that, Pete has a great idea. Pete builds a robot. He programs it to be just like him. Welcome to the world, Robo Pete, Pete says to the robot. You're my new best friend. We'll do everything together. And I want to play catch, says Pete. Great idea, says Robo Pete. Pete and Robo Pete play catch. Wow, says Pete, running after the ball. You sure, sure can throw far. Robo Pete throws farther and farther until... Time out, says Pete as he tries to catch his breath. Let's play something else. I want to play whatever you want to play, Robo Pete says proudly. How about we play hide and seek, says Pete. That will be fun, says Robo Pete. Pete finds the best hiding place ever. He's sure Robo Pete will never find him. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, shouts Robo Pete. Ready or not, here I come. Look where Pete was hiding. He's in the chicken coop. Hmm. Gotcha, shouts Robo Pete, tagging Pete. Hey, how did you find me, says Pete. With my homing device, says Robo Pete. I can find anyone, anywhere. Okay, enough hide and seek, says Pete. Let's play some guitar. Pete teaches Robo Pete how to play a song he made up. You have to feel the music, Pete explains. Okay, says Robo Pete. To feel it, I need to play loud, says Robo Pete. Pete tries to stop Robo Pete, but Robo Pete can't hear him over the noise. This is fun, says Robo Pete. This is awful, says Pete the Cat. Okay, says Robo Pete. Let's ride our skateboards instead. Before Pete can answer, Robo Pete's feet transform into a motorized skateboard with super speedy wheels. Let's go, Robo Pete shouts. Wait, calls Pete. Pete chases after Robo Pete. He has no idea where Robo Pete is going. Robo Pete crashes into the sandbox of the playground. Are you okay? Pete asks his robot. I am a robot. I'm indestructible, says Robo Pete. What is this strange place? It's a playground, says Pete. He waves to his friends. This is Robo Pete, Pete says to Callie, Larry, and John. I made him myself. Cool, says Larry. We're going to help John finish painting, says Callie, and then we are going bike riding. I want to go on the slide, interrupts Robo Pete. Robo Pete, I want to help my friends paint the fence, Pete tells his robot. Paint the fence? That would be great, Robo Pete says. I am programmed to paint faster than anyone. Pete and his friends try to help. But Robo Pete paints way too fast. So instead, they ride bikes and they read books. And after Robo Pete is done painting, they help him clean the brushes. Pete realizes that it doesn't matter what they do, just being with his friends is what makes it fun. The end. There we see Pete, Robo Pete, John, Callie, and all of the wonderful people from the story. All right, kids, I just wanted to uh, do a little read-along with you. Uh, again, think about that story. Think about all the cool ways that Pete the Cat and his friends and even his robot got some exercise and PE in 
even though they weren't in school. So just like us, uh, Pete and his friends still make sure they stay active even though they're not meeting at school every day. You guys have a good one. Take care. Bye.